Hello, welcome to the video on selecting design preferences in OSDAG. In the previous video, we learned to perform a shear connection design in OSDAG. Here, in this video, we will take a closer look at what design preferences are and how to set these preferences. By setting the design preferences properly, you can get a better control over the design parameters of a connection. By the end of this video, you will be able to set suitable design preferences for the desired connection. Let us set the preferences for the fin plate connection which we have designed in a previous tutorial. Note that when we design a connection without setting any preferences, OSDAG carries out the design using some default values. For example, bolt holes are assumed to be standard. This implies that the default value of hole clearance for a 12 mm bolt is 1 mm and that for a 16 mm bolt is 2 mm as per Indian standard 800-2007. Here is a view of the OSDAC design window after we have performed a successful design of a fin plate connection. Take a note of the values in the output docs so that you can compare them with the values which we will get after resetting the design preferences to our choice. Let us note down the capacity of the bolt which is 11.32 kN. You may also note the value of the shear demand on the weld. To set the design preferences, click on the edit menu and select design preferences. The window for design preferences appears. We can set the design preferences for the bolt, the weld, the detailing and the design in these tabs. The number of tabs may increase or decrease depending upon the design module. In the bolt tab, we can set the preferences for the bolt hole type as standard or oversized from the drop down menu. Let us keep it as standard. The material grade overwrite can be used to specify the ultimate and the yield strengths for the bolt material of a selected grade. Let us change the slip factor for the selected HSFG bolt from the drop down menu. Here we have selected a slip factor to 0.2 corresponding to the surface treatment for connected members. Note that on the right side of the toolbox, OSDAG gives you the necessary description for the selected parameter which makes specifying your preference easier. Additional notes are provided at the bottom wherever required. In the weld tab, we can select the type of weld as shop or field weld using the drop down menu. Let us set this as field weld. Similarly, an appropriate material grade for the weld can also be set. In the detailing tab, we can select the type of edges from a drop down menu. Here, two types of edges are available, sheared or hand flame cut and rolled machine flame cut, sawn and planed. Let us select sheared or hand flame cut edges. You can also enter a different gap between the supporting member and the supported member than provided by default as per your choice of detailing. In the design tab, the default design method is set to limit state design since the other design methodologies are not covered in OSDAG yet. You can reset the design preferences to their default values by clicking on the defaults button. Now click on the save button to save the preferences. 
The preferences will be saved. Click OK and close. Let us click the design button again to redesign the connection with the saved preferences. We get a safe design for this time as well. Note that the output values from the output dock have been changed. You may note that that the value of the bolt capacity has been lowered to 7.5 kN. Similarly, the value of the shear demand on the weld has also changed. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize the video. In this video, we learned how to set the design preferences. We also saw the different parameters available in the design preferences toolbox for bolt, weld, detailing and design so as to design a connection by setting desired preferences. In the next tutorial, we will look at different graphics operations in OSDAG.